Okay guys, so I have a real treat going on here. I finally got to meet the pirate and the princess. They're down here in Grand Haven, Michigan. This is the boat that they're going to take down the waterways, a very similar trip to what you saw me and Wavy do last year. Why don't you guys tell us a little about it? Well, the boat there came about in the year 2000. I built it um, basically out of necessity. I kept, I've, I've been an avid boater my whole adult life, and I just wanted something bigger, better, and badder, and couldn't really afford it. So I decided to build it, and that was 19 years ago. But once it got built, it was like, man, this thing's got to go down the Mississippi River one day. So it's been a 20-year dream or a 19-year dream. Then I married this little hottie, yep. and uh, she says, hey. You lucky devil. Guess what? It's time <laughs> to go down the Mississippi. And uh, I said, what? Wait, I'm still afraid. I don't want to go. I'm scared. <laughs> she says, well, what are you afraid of? I says, well, I'm getting all the ducks in a row. <laughs> And, uh, but once she said this is the year, because some of the locks and dams are going to be worked on and closed next year and that sort of thing, um, once the mindset was right, it's like, oh, yeah, let's do this thing. All fear went away, and now we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And when we go, we're going right out that way. Lake Michigan's a mile that way, and we're going to head right over to Chicago and see and what happens. When is departure date? We're shooting for August 15th, but sometime between August 15th and the 30th. So that's the goal. Great. I thought I heard the old man say, John Kanaka Naka to lie. There's work tomorrow, but no work today. John Kanaka Naka to lie. To lie. Oh, to lie. John Kanaka Naka to lie. We're bound away from Frisco Bay. John. Well, I know, I, I loved how you did your boat um, with the front deck and everything where the water would wash off. And uh, 20 years ago when I built this thing, I knew that uh, I didn't want standing water anywhere on the boat because it would end up rotting it away, you know. So I built it on an inland river up north, but once I got down here to Lake Michigan and started playing around, when you get out in two to three footers and they crash over the front, the water just goes whoosh, and it's gone. It goes right down through the boards. Mm -hmm. So it's something I didn't even intend on, uh, but yet yeah, works so well. When you close the door, oh, there's another captain on the screen door there. Love that. Guy. Did you paint that? That was a birthday gift my wife got me a few years back. She had some gal was painting them. Yeah, so nice detail. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. But when the door's closed and the waves come over and hit, they immediately flush right through. Mm -hmm. So you got no water weight left on the boat. It doesn't come through the cabin. It's just immediately there and gone. Mm -hmm. So even though it wasn't um, intended to go that way, it ended up being that way, which yep. is super cool. Um, but come on, yeah. check it out. <laughs> I'm a little over furnished right now um, as we look for good, comfortable seats. For oh, driving, this, is, this is beautiful. Driving down the waterway, thanks. <laughs> um, you can drive it, you got a nice helm down here, and then once we climb the steps, there's a nice helm upstairs. And uh, it's also got remote control steering on it, where you can drive from anywhere, sit out on the front porch while we're cruising down the river. And as you know from taking the trip already, you don't always want to be holding the wheel. Mm -hmm. You know, so I got some key fobs over there that operate a remote control. You just push a button, go right to left, and Keep her between the lines, right? Mm -hmm. Keep her between the buoys. Oh, this is a whole new level of shanty boat, though. I mean, yeah. this, is, this is beautiful. You know, it's funny. I, I built it. I didn't even know about the shanty boat thing. I just figured if Huck just, You were calling it a, a houseboat, boat, right? Just... Yeah, we were calling it a houseboat. Look at this suspicious guy. Yeah. He's like, what, he's he's like, what are you thinking? I think his eyes follow you around the room. They do. <laughs> What's funny is I got an infinity mirror here. And when you look in the infinity mirror, it goes right back to his face. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Maybe later on the day you can check that out. Um, can we continue the tour here? So you bet. You know, it's got everything. Um, unlike the shanty boats, where um, I, I'm certainly reading about them and following you guys, uh, we still like the creature comforts of home. So you got a sink and stove, and um, of course you had a stove on your boat too. Um, freezer. All runs off of propane, the fridge. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got uh, cold storage while we're headed down. There's a nice head there for the ladies, because ladies certainly like a bathroom. <laughs> but I ain't going to lie to you, so do I. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, it's it's good size. You can go in there. No shower. Mm -hmm. We'll still be doing river showers. Yep. Things Talk like off that. the back. But then we got a little reading spot here, and um, the uh, the bed. This used to have two bedrooms. This up here is the dividing wall. That's why you see two doors here. Mm -hmm. when we raised five kids out here on the boat. And, uh, no kidding. So we have bunk beds there, and both the front couches pull out into beds. And this was actually turned sideways. But once all the kids grew up and moved on, it's like, man, we might as well have one big room instead of all the little tiny stuff. You know? So uh, that worked out well. Just took out the wall. But I got the two doors. Um, and then out back. You raised kids on this boat. Five of them. Yeah, lucky kids. Yeah, yeah, they had a good life growing up. And that's where we keep our grill and our little Mercury 60 horse uh, Bigfoot motor. Yeah, Yeah, my buddy just got a, a McGregor 26M and it has that motor on it. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. it's a great motor. It's lasted for years and it'll push this thing anywhere I want to go. Even on a breezy day, I can still get parked without banging into other people's boats. Mm -hmm. So it hooked up real nice. Um, that's the remote control right there. Like an autopilot? Yeah, it, it's just an actuator. It's the same thing they use like the raised TV sets up and down out of a cabinet. Hmm. I just hooked that up with the remote and the way she went. You got and then you have an upstairs deck? We do have an upstairs deck. Here, one up there and then you can... Party. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and the flag. Yeah. You got a steering station. Yeah. And do a little the tiki boat. You know, that's the a lifestyle I've always wanted. It was just the island life. Mm -hmm. Tiki boats, boats, tiki bars, the island lifestyle. You think I could sit in a chair and relax? Never happens. <laughs> I sit for like five or ten minutes. I'm good. Let's do something. There's work to be done. Yep. There's Endless. things to do, people to see. Just so, the... where, where are you, roughly, like what pace and where do you guys plan to stop along the way and what's your final destination for this trip? Oh, our final destination is Key West City Marina. That's uh, the goals for this thing to go there and die. Um, it's going to go down there, and this is where it's, that's where it's going to stay. Yeah, that's where it's going to. Are stay. you guys just going to leave it down there, and, and you're going to go down in the winters, and you're going to leave it? Well, for... we go in the winters now to Palmetto, Florida, Bradenton area, and uh, we absolutely love it down there. So it'll get a couple of years in the Palmetto area while we're there, um, but then the goal is to, of course, increase income and stuff like that, so that it can uh, lay at rest in Key West but be our cottage, right? Instead of going down there and paying all the great prices for everything, just have a place where we can vacation in Key West. And when you get it to Key West, are you guys going to leave it in the water or are you going to put it on the, the land? It'll stay in the water. Okay. And you already have a spot for, uh, mapped out for that? Well, the city marina is, uh, I've talked to them a couple of times. I mean, it, it's a good spot. There's a lot of different houseboats, a lot of eclectic people there that are just, I mean, it's pretty fun. It's crazy. When you go down, everybody's inviting and warm. And yeah, come on up and see what I have. And come, on. it's my element. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to be there. It's going to be a blast. What's the slip cost of the City Marina down at Key West? Um, as I've been talking with people, it's been around six hundred a month. Okay. So it's affordable rent. Yep. You know, and that's your water, sewer hookup, and all that kind of fun stuff too. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's gone up since then. Hopefully, it don't go up a ton. For Key West, that's still pretty reasonable. Yeah, it's very reasonable. <laughs> so. Yeah, the goal is to get there. So the deck up here is 12 by 27 foot. I created it specifically. I wanted it so we could have parties and live bands. And back when I was younger, all went well. Yeah. The older I get, the less likely that is to happen. Now it's kind of fun just being alone. Yep. Um, being alone with the wife. Oh, when I was a little lad, I saw me, mammy told me, we haul away, we haul away. So here's your upper home station, yeah. your flybridge. It's a favorite place to be. 
can see everything. Oh yeah, I know when the weather's nice, this is the place to drive. Yeah. Cruising down to Mississippi from up there. I am excited about that. took over the ship seeking adventure and thrills the curse has taken them to their graves but they cannot die no sleep is their punishment till the end of time the ship sails on back to over again when i sing my song this is my home until the end centuries across the sea it's not enough for me all i want is to be free and hail captain blood Could you say that again now about roughly how much you have into it? And oh, the boat? Yeah, well, roughly I've got about $35,000 into it. But the thing was brand new. When I built it, everything was brand new. It was new wood, it was new steering, new cables. All this stuff, the infrastructure, you don't realize what the infrastructure costs. But to have a helm upstairs and downstairs, four 40-foot cables, two 40-foot steering cables, all the DC electric, all the 12 volt or 110 electric and then i've got gas for the refrigeration the lights i got gas lanterns and all that kind of stuff it's like you really built a house oh, you yeah. built like a small house yeah all self-contained 30 gallons of water uh 50 gallon holding tank for your sewage i mean everything self-contained you can run this boat well we lived on it for years without door power mm -hmm. wow. plug a generator in every now and then to recharge the batteries and Three 30-foot pontoons is what you started out with for about 5,000 bucks. Yep, five, five grand, three 30-foot pontoons. There you go. Where do you want up there? Right here is good. Right here is good. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, it was really nice to meet you. And thanks for making me dinner and showing me around the, the boat. And I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. And... Is there anything else you'd want to tell the folks about your upcoming trip? Well, as I just said, as we watch Brenton's shanty boat um, adventures, we certainly uh, felt like we knew you before you got here. Now that you're here, I feel like you're a brother from another mother, and I uh, can't wait to share this adventure with everybody else that's out there too as we go down the river and, uh, of course, document most of it and let you all check out uh, our adventures. Hopefully we learn from others' mistakes. Mm -hmm. hey. And make our own as well. That's half the adventure. <laughs> don't ru don't run out of gas approaching Pickwick. <laughs> <laughs> I just follow uh, your dreams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how much gas we need. It'll be good, though. Thank you so much for a yep. beautiful day. Yep. yep. Well, I feel the same. It was really good to meet you, and I'll see you guys again soon. The Pirate and the Princess. Find them on YouTube.